Hi everybody, I made it. These live videos that I'm doing every week are challenging me a lot. Um, I'm always running around with my head cut off and uh, sorry, I have to turn my notifications off because I get on live and it tells me that I'm live. It dings right at the beginning of every one of my videos here. Let's see. Okay, hopefully my camera won't fall. All right, today has been a little crazy, but um, managing to get a lot done. I hope you all had a really good Memorial Day weekend. And uh, there's like dust flying everywhere. That's what happens in this kind of light. Ooh, on my sweater. Um, yeah, I had a really good sale going on yesterday. It was just for one day. And I decided um, that it was going to be the biggest discount of the year. And then this morning I had to go and take it all off. And um, I did actually still leave some of the prices lower than they were before the sale. So that's totally awesome. I hope you guys are really excited about that and that you'll really take a good look on my website to find those awesome prices. Um, I left several things on sale as well that I'm trying to get rid of and have more people give a try. So you'll enjoy looking at that. now. I have this big bag. This is my hair wrap thing, and I just threw everything in it this morning. And I'm going to be showing you products I love and hate. Okay, so this is going to be really fun. I'll probably try a couple of them on me. Um, uh, they're not all like actual gels and stuff like that. Some of them are hair tools and things. So, um, so we can just get started. I will say that for a couple of these things, I don't have the brand name and stuff, but I will look it up for you and make sure that I put that in the, um, you know, the description after I get done with the video. And I am still replaying all my live videos on my YouTube channel. So if there's any you haven't seen so far this year on my Facebook page or over the last few weeks, Definitely go to my YouTube channel and subscribe there so that you can get some of my new videos that are coming out every week, okay? All right, so let's see here. Um, I don't know if I should move this a little bit so you can kind of see. Oh, my messy counter. Got a couple of things here. Big old pile, whole different things. All right, so I think the first thing I'm going to talk about is some hair clasps. All right. I went on Etsy a while back oh, and I was looking for some really interesting things. And that, in fact, that reminds me, I couldn't find one of them. Let me mention what it was and then I'll show you some of these other things that I have. All right, so have any of you guys ever done sewing before? And instead of the metal thimbles that you put over your finger, you can sometimes get like a rubber thimble. Have you ever seen those? Okay, so I saw that type of a thing for your hair. So you, you put it on your finger, it goes down about this long, and it looks like a rubber thimble, but it has like a little bit of texture to it, and you're supposed to use it to help twirl and smooth your ringlets. Of course, it was made out of silicone, and I applied product, and my hair was really wet and everything, but it kept sticking to my hair. It was horrible. It did not work very well at all. Um, using your regular fingers or a small fine tooth comb or a little wet brush or something was way better. So that right there is the first product I hate, those little rubbery finger twirling tools. It was so bad. I'll try to find the the link and the name of it and I'll put that in the description. The next product that I don't like, I never use the word hate, um, is the puff cuff um, clip. Okay, so this I believe was the medium size. I think they have some that are smaller than this. But it's not like the gigantic size or anything like that. Now, this is supposed to be used to help make like a, a ponytail in your hair, right? A no-dent style. And it's a lot like an old-fashioned banana clip, except for the difference is the way that it's shaped. 
Um, I don't know, they claim that it's way better than a regular banana clip. But the reason I don't like it is because you would think that this could hold all of my hair. When my hair was really curly, um, if my hair is having like a really curly day, it's always thicker, right? So I'll try to grab my hair and it'll feel like this big. Um, you're supposed to squeeze down tight on it to measure how thick your hair really is. And then you take that dimension and you order the one that is supposed to be similar to that dimension. So I thought, I thought I did pretty good. It's still way too big. I don't know if my hair is just thinner than... I really think it is, um, but I was shocked. Even on a really curly day, this is still too loose and it falls out of my hair. So if I had to try these again, I would definitely get a smaller one. If you want to try them, you're going to want to get a smaller one than you might think. Um, okay, and then, let's see, what did I already, oh yeah. Then I went and I, I've been looking for these no dent hairstyles. So I went and I found this and I I think I might have gotten it at Walmart or something. And this is a type of a class that you can use to make a ponytail. You're supposed to be able to um, hook it. Let me let me show you. So let's say I wanted to try and put my hair in a ponytail. This this is going to be kind of hard um, because it it's kind of small. But if you just kind of get it under your hair. And then sort of stretch it you should be able to but I just feel like you're supposed to hook it on the hair I think so you hook it there in the hair you see that and then hook again on the other part of the hair and it's slipping and it's kind of tricky I think it hooked on the metal piece so it's kind of hard to get right where you want it, and it, it sort of works. Um, it's not real tight. Of course, if you're going for a no-dent hairstyle, it's going to have to be loose. But, but look at how much it's drooping, right? And then throughout the day, that would definitely fall. If your hair is slick at all, those little um, hooks are not going to stay in. See this? I just feel like it's awkward, like it keeps spinning in my hands. Where'd the other one go? Oh yeah, and then I got it in the wrong place. I, I just, I can't really figure it out. So, um, too difficult for something that would seem really simple. And you have to make it so tight to say that it's definitely going to make a dent in your hair. So not no dent. Um, I have to figure out what these are called and put them in the description for you guys. All right. Um, my hair is much more moisturized than it was last time I came on here with straight hair. Hopefully you can tell it's shinier. Um, I've been putting more leave-in conditioner in it. It's also less frizzy. Look at that, see? So the amount of product you put in your hair really matters. <laughs> Makes a difference. All right, um, okay. And then let me show you a type of a hair tie, no dent hair tie that I do like, okay? So I love it. Um, I have three different versions here, which are really great. Uh, this is a giant hair rubber band that is stretchy. It's kind of like a nylon cloth, but it feels sort of like there's something in there. Um, and then it's got this little rubber piece here that, you know, makes it stay together. So I really like this for doing like a pineapple at night. And it is a no dent style. Now, obviously it's bigger than this other one that I had tried with the little teeth in it, but the reason I like it is because I can use it in conjunction with a hair clip, which I've decided is just the best way to go. If you're going to really want something that is not going to create a dent, that is loose, but that will stay in your hair, you have to use it in conjunction with a clip. That's what I'm learning. 
So you can get something like this, and I'll show you how to do this in a minute. Or you can get something like, like this. Watch this, guys. This is an old scrunchie that doesn't have any elastic anymore. And look at it. Look how big it is. But it's great. I love it. And then you can just use it with a clip, and that will stay up in your hair, and it will hold all your hair without having any dents. Like, it's really great. Um, and then another way is to use the things that I have on my website, which is this cloth with a wire inside of it. See how it's, it can hold its shape? And you can use this to maybe cinch down around your hair or to get as big or as small as you want. Where something like this, you only have so much control, you can maybe wrap it twice. But something like this, you can make all different sizes of, um, of circles, right? So this one is really great depending on how curly your hair is one day or what kind of style you're doing. And you can even use this as a scarf or, or anything. Um, and then again, it works very well in conjunction with the clip. So let me show you how to use these. They all work basically the same way, um, but I'll just go through each of them really quick. I've showed you guys these before. If you've been following me on uh, my Instagram or my Facebook for a year or whatever, you probably have already seen me show you this before. So let me show you the large loop. Um, any way you normally would put up a pineapple, same exact way you're going to do this. Up high, however high you want, and you get your hair in that. Then you hold it towards the front so that it doesn't slip, and then you secure that with your clip. I like to kind of put it inside the loop, right? And then make sure this is all loose here, and then go ahead and grab that hair. You can kind of wiggle it in there, whatever you need to do, and then that'll stay. So you can use this to make a high ponytail type of a style, or you can sleep in this like a, a pineapple. Oh, cute. <laughs> and uh, depending on how curly your hair is, it's going to change the look, but it works really well. Hopefully I've got that laid decent. But it's absolutely no dent on your hair. The hair is completely free in here. Okay? And the other thing that I really like about this type of a, a loop and clip uh, technique is that it doesn't tangle up your hair. Something that has uh, teeth like this or like a banana clip or something or those little uh, foam cord rubber bands, those are horrible. They get stuck in your hair so bad. This is really easy to take out and then no dent. Okay? Um, the way to use this loose tie is exactly the same. I really feel like I don't have to show you that one. It's completely no-brainer. Put it on, clip it up. And then I love this one with the wire in it. You can just lace it behind your neck, pull it up, and then you don't even have to tie it in a knot. You can actually just twist it like this. You can go back around. And you can put a little twist in there, or you can just kind of leave it, leave it loose. Just kind of pinch it and just leave it, okay? Now, if I want that to stay a little tighter, then I need to use um, the clip, obviously. But um, if I had my hair like really curly today, it would stay in better, you know what I mean? But because my hair is straight, it kind of um, stays looser. You can put this clip at the bottom or the top. So if you want to try and hide it and push your ponytail up, that's also a really great way to get a nice big ponytail. Okay? Pretty fun, huh? So I those are my favorite um, ways to do the no dent hairstyles. Okay, guys? All right. Um, let me show you a couple more hair tools that I have right here, and then I will talk to you about a couple of these products that I got out. All right. So, all right. Let's talk.
chalk scalp scrubbers. I used to sell this on my website and it's a very popular scalp scrubber that a lot of people um, are grabbing all over Amazon. Um, it's really cute and it's made out of silicone. Of course it's soft even though it has these little spikes. <laughs> and I will tell you the main purpose of this type of a scalp scrubber, I don't like this one by the way, I hate this one. <laughs> The main purpose of this type of a scalp scrubber is just to kind of make your scalp feel good. It is not going to remove any grime. And um, the reason I hate it is, and the reason I took it off my website, is because I feel like the silicone products tug on the hair too much. I feel like I have noticed them actually pulling or ripping the little baby hairs um, especially around the roots of your hairs. So if you get in here and you're going to town when you're in the shower and you're going like this, it's going to kind of have that sticky feeling and it catches and pulls on the hair. And it, it might sort of feel good, um, but it's not really doing anything. It's not removing any grime and it may even be breaking or damaging your hair. So I don't like the silicone scalp scrubbers. So I've changed the type of um, scalp scrubbers on my website and I change them to more of a stiff bristle. Um, they're not sharp or scratchy at all and you can kind of hook your fingers in here. They do have a little bit of flexibility to them but they have more of a scratching effect. Um, they're not going to damage your scalp. You're, I mean if you go to town in one place and you're just sitting there forever then I mean you know don't don't make yourself rob. I don't know if you really have the capacity to do that or not. It would probably be pretty easy to tell if you were going too long. Um, but this is going to remove grime on your scalp. And by that I mean actual removing of dead skin, dry dandruff, and all of that. So it, <laughs> this is going to make my head start flaking because I, I haven't had a shower in a couple of days. And I'm already starting to get a little dandruff because my scalp needs to get in the shower every day or two. That's just what it does. So, um, I don't want to make a crazy ton of snow. But maybe I should just to show you that it's working. You can use this with an oil <laughs> before you get into the shower to work as like a pre-poo and to really loosen everything up. This is embarrassing, but I guess this is the point. It's showing you, I don't know if you can see that, but my dandruff is like totally releasing, which is great, right? Because <laughs> that's what you want. You want it to start releasing that so that when you get in the shower, it's going to actually rinse away and you're going to have a much cleaner scalp when you're all done. <laughs> okay then, so... This is a type of scalp scrubber that I love and it is much more effective at removing dead skin and not damaging the hair. Okay guys? All right. Um, and finally for the hair tools, my favorite sleeping um, hair wraps, I guess I should say, is a buff. This is a large tube of fabric. And so you look like Marge Simpson when you put this on your hair. These are great. Um, as your hair gets really long, like let's say it was a couple inches longer than mine, you're going to find that it will start to stick out at the end of this, but that's okay because you just kind of scrunch your hair down inside and then you can um, clip it shut, um, you know, clip it back down in the front right here or something so it doesn't flop in your face when you're doing your pineapple at night. I can show you that in just a second. And then the other head wrap that I really like is this kind right here. You've probably seen it um, sold somewhere, um, maybe at Walmart or um, on my Amazon store. But these really stay on your head good, guys. Okay? So let me show you how to use these. You can use these. This one is for wet hair, and this one is for dry hair. Okay? That's why I have both. So... On the nights that my hair is just out of the shower, I will put this one on really tight um, to plop my curls in place overnight. When I take it off in the morning, they're still damp, and then I finish diffusing to make sure my roots are not flat and um, to finish the curl process. 
and my hair looks really great um, with this uh, for an overnight wet plop. It really works good. And then I use the buff when my hair is dry to preserve my curls overnight so that they don't get tousled around, uh, so it stays out of my face, um, and it keeps them looking good the next day. All right, so let me show you how to use these two. Move this chair. All right. So you're going to open this one up, the buff, kind of like a, a hair tie, right? Put it up over your head. This doesn't mess up your hair because it keeps it smooth. And then just pull it out and flip your hair down. So you have all your dry curly hair um, at night. And then you just grab the end of this and you pull it up over your, your hair. You can kind of get to the bottom so you don't rub your face if you don't like that. Go up to your forehead. And then from there, you just gently open this up and it holds on to all your hair there. So that's the Marge Simpson look, right? You can tuck this up behind your ears or however you want to do that. And just make sure you don't pull so far that you've got it coming up past your, your hairline there. Now, as you can see, my hair is getting kind of long, so it's hanging here in my face, right? So what I like to do is I just gently get that hair in my hands and I scrunch it up inside there, right? You can scrunch it up as much as you need to go. So this is allowing me to keep the curls in their curl pattern. And then I can gently remove my hand and kind of tuck this however I want. And then you can either stick it in here or you can use a clip get this open. There we go. Just tuck it in there and that's really the easiest way. So when you sleep at night, it it stays out of your face. It stays in a nice curl pattern. It's very easy to take off. It keeps volume in your hair. And then um, this is not the tightest thing ever, but if you're not rolling around too much, it works really well. If you do roll around a lot at night, and what I suggest is getting my handy dandy um, cloth with a wire in it, right? My no dent hair tie that I sell on my website. And you can wrap this from the back up over this part of your hair and you make a cute little bow and then you can sleep with that more in place. Right guys? So totally works, keeps it on your head as tight as you need that to be, and uh, works really good. I look cute, huh? <laughs> All right, and then let me show you the other one. I feel like I should leave this on. It was so cute. So these are overnight things I really like. In order to take it off in the morning, you just slide it, and then you will notice when you first flip your hair back up in the morning that it's all kind of sticking out right here, but you just give it a minute and it loosens. You can kind of just go like this when you wake up and then your hair will just look great when you wake up. All right, so for, for this kind of a, a nightcap, I get it open and I usually will lay it on a chair or on the floor or a table or something. And let's see, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. So I, uh, you can decide how you like to do it. If you want the twist to go uh, up to the front of your head or the back of your head, so you can try doing it either direction, it doesn't matter. But the part that you want to start with is this bowl type, bowl um, part of it here, and you just kind of get it open, right? When your hair is wet, you can gently coax your curls like this, by holding them with your hand like that. And then you gently get them down and make sure they stay curled, right? And you're scrunching them down into this plop, all right? 
Then you press your head against that so that it's kind of firm, right? All the hair's in place. And that's when you can come and you can start wrapping this around. And then you have this long piece here. That you just twist and you make sure it's tight right there. And then you pull that up over your hair. And then you have this little loop. Let me get this back up here for you guys. Okay, you have this little loop and this button. And you just hook that there. Okay, so you can leave this down over your ears if it helps it to stay on at night. Um, I got most of that in there. If it was wet, it probably would have went in a little bit better. This stays on really well. It's very tight. Um, I have this pressed against my forehead, not against my hair. That way it won't smash the hair. But I like to align this in such a way that it helps to uh, kind of squeeze the curls into this plopping position. And I will usually go and I will press like this at the end of this routine. So all my wet curls are scrunched under here. They're not flattened um, or squashed. They're actually in ringlets and they're scrunched down, just like when you scrunch your curls, right? So the curls stay intact and they, they get nice and full, big clumps when you do this. And then you can keep that on overnight. Now I look like a fortune teller. <laughs> not as cute as the other one. All right, uh, and then you just take that off in the morning, and there's all your curls, and you can finish diffusing a little bit, whatever you need to do. All right, does anyone have any questions? Is this a good place for me to make sure I'm reading comments? I know we've been having some people pop in and out. Um, is there any products you've used that you hate? Hair tools, right? If so, comment below, okay? Um, have you tried any of these hair tools that I've tried? The Puff Cuff. Um, and I wish I had these names right now, but um, these little hooks with the rubber band attached to them. Um, you know, large hair ties or you know, stretched out scrunchies. Have you tried any of these tips um, or techniques? How do they work for you? Comment below, okay guys? All right. What are your thoughts on scalp scrubbers? Have you noticed any hair breakage with the silicone scalp scrubbers? Have you tried the more firm bristle scalp scrubbers? Do they get dandruff off better? How do they work for you? So, comment below. Um, if there's a favorite or a not favorite hair um, scalp scrubber that you guys have used, make sure you tell us which ones they are. We can go and learn more and make sure we stay away from certain ones, maybe. And what is your method for using overnight um, hair wraps, right guys? What's your favorites and your least liked? I like this. Okay, so we have a comment. Rachel Wynn says, I like the silicone scalp scrubber because they give a nice head massage. And they do. They do have a nice massaging effect. I bought a scalp scrubber from the dollar store once and ouch. <laughs> so you don't like the rough ones as much, it sounds like. Prefer the silicone. Okay, so everybody's different, right? Thanks for commenting, Rachel. Yeah, this is a good time for you guys to start piping in. I'm going to kind of let a couple of you um, chime in here for a second while I line up these next products. Do you guys have a favorite um, hair clip that you like? These are the kind I sell on my website. They have kind of like a twist effect to them and I just think they're really pretty and they do not slip. They stay in so well. They're pretty good size. Not too huge, but small enough you can use them for root lifting and all sorts of things. 
What is your favorite hair clips? And what is your most hated hair clips? <laughs> Comment below. Rachel Wynn says she thinks these are pretty. I also have these that I might put on my website. Um, they have more of a narrow, um, you know, size to them. So sometimes they're easier um, to get in a smaller place and they can do really good for, you know, your root lifting if you just want something that's more narrow. But if I was to go to the grocery store or something like that and I still had these in my hair, I would prefer to use something like this because I feel like it's just a little bit more attractive for, for style, you know? All right. Now let's move on here. You guys can comment as you come in. And I'm just going to show you a couple of the products, uh, hair products that I love and hate. Do, 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 do. Which ones are these? Anyone want to take a guess? <laughs> Okay, so way back in the day when everybody was doing rice water rinses, I don't know if it's all that popular anymore. Maybe it still is. Um, I learned that I cannot handle rice water rinses. I don't know what is up with my scalp and my hair, but it hated it. I'm going to use the word hate here. Big time hate. Um, rice water is a no-go for me. It messed up my hair and my scalp so bad. Also, I have to be so careful with apple cider vinegar. This stuff goes far. If you're going to put it in a hair rinse for making your hair more shiny, clarifying your hair or your scalp, uh, any of that, believe me, a little tiny bit goes a long way. I will put my recipe for you guys in the post when I'm done here uh, to make sure you guys know what I feel is a better percentage for that. But if you just go searching on Google, they will tell you something like a tablespoon to a cup of water or something. Way too much. Crazy. Okay? Absolutely messes up my scalp if I don't use such a tiny amount. And by messes up, I mean... My scalp will feel crusty, like it will literally get a, a crust, a layer of crust. And, it, and if I just gently try to scratch at that, it gets so raw and sore. It is so weird. And it took me like three weeks to heal from it after I, I've done this a couple times. Uh, and so I know it's just like, don't go there. <laughs> Now, I went ahead and I put a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar in the new version of my cream cleanser, my no poo, my low poo that I have on my website. And it's working great for me, but I'm telling you, it is like at the bottom of the ingredients list. Okay, guys, so kind of a love-hate relationship with this one, I guess, <laughs> both. <laughs> All right, so another hate product. I'm going to say this one endearingly. Um, I tried Mirabelle Naturals um, flaxseed gel. They used to be called My Soigne, right? Um, her and I are semi-friends. I don't know if she's just too busy to talk to me or what, but she doesn't reply to me anymore. We used to be really good friends, and we were growing our businesses together. Um, but anyway, I went ahead and I bought her flaxseed gel because I was just like, i got to see what the hype is, right? I didn't like it. My hair didn't like it. Um, I will try to attach uh, before and after picture of my hair, uh, my a comparison picture that I have with my hair. Um, I think I used a different product to compare, and then this one on the other side of my hair. And the side of my hair with this was frizzy, stringy. It didn't work for me. Um, so I say that kind of affectionately. I mean, I don't hate anybody. Um, I don't necessarily hate this product per se, but I will tell you my hair hates it. <laughs> and the ingredient I think that my hair just doesn't like is aloe. 
it seems like if I try a gel with aloe in it, that it makes it really dry and stringy. Have you guys ever had that happen? Um, so I try to make sure that my products don't have aloe in them. A lot of my gels do not have aloe in them on my website. Um, I have aloe in just a couple of my products, but they have lots of other moisturizers in them, and so it does not have the same effect for me. So I don't know if they're just using too much or what. Um, also, this has a lavender scent, which I do not prefer. Lavender is probably like my least favorite scent. Um, so, so sorry, Mirabelle Naturals, no go for me. And then I have a couple other hair products that I love. So I'm going to show you these. No Frizz 10 Concentrated Protein Drops. Oh yeah, right here. You just put one or two, three, four, five drops in a handful of, say, gel or conditioner. And mix that a little bit in your hand and you're good to go. You got your protein for the day. There's no goopy treatments. Leave it on the protein mass for an hour or however long. And it is so easy to customize. So this right here, no first 10 protein drops. Absolutely love this. And uh, as far as hairspray is concerned, this has been my favorite go-to hairspray from the store for a long time. A lot of years. I've used this on my kids. I've used this on myself. It has a nice smell. Also, it has the spritz um, pump. It's not aerosol, which I love. Um, aerosol, right? Um... The only thing about this hairspray is that I can't use it all that often because it does contain um, hydrogenated castor oil, which is good for kind of sealing down frizz. It's a little bit of a heavier oil, but it also reacts as a protein in your hair. It's one of the very few oils that will do that because it is hydrogenated. It provides protein for the hair. So... You can't use this if you're protein sensitive or if you're at a time in your routine where your hair doesn't want protein. Um, it, it provides a great hold and it goes on really easy for refreshing curls and everything. Um, okay, so Rachel says, never tried it because I can't handle the, handle the smell. Um, what is the smell? Coconut. I like it. It, it doesn't seem too strong or perfumey to me. Um, but totally, everybody's different on that one. Um, there's a lot of fragrances that are very flowery or perfumey or, you know, really imitation smelling that I obviously don't like. Um, so if you can kind of handle smells, you know, you could maybe try this one. I will also say that as much as I love this product, it's very hard to find. Um, sometimes you have to pay an arm and a leg to get it somewhere on the Internet. Um, sometimes you have to buy a two pack. Uh, it's not just something I find all the time at Walmart and stuff like that. So I've had this model for years and I still occasionally use it. Um, I am pretty positive that it is a curly girl approved hairspray. I will tell you that right now. I can double check on that, but this is one that I have posted to be a good suggested, um, curly girl approved hairspray. Um, if I was to compare this to my No Frizz 10 Orange Moisture Mist, for instance, it would be a similar comparison, but only if I customized the No Frizz 10 uh, Orange Moisture Mist. So in order to get them the same, I would have to add oil to the Orange Moisture Mist, and I'd have to add a little protein and more hold, Okay. But by all means, if you want to have me customize my hairspray for you, it would be in a similar spritz pump, and it would have a much lighter scent, and it would be comparable and easier to find. <laughs> so that's an option there for you. Great hairspray, just a little bit tricky to, to find and, and, and everything. Uh, okay, so do we have any questions about hairsprays really quick? You know what I think I'll do? I'll also link the um, group album. I'm hoping I have the album on my public Facebook page. If not, I'll try and go put some products in there for you. But um, I will make sure you guys have a link to Curly Girl Approved Hairsprays. All right. So Rachel says that 
castor oil is too heavy for her hair. And you're right, it usually is. It usually is. I usually avoid using castor oil um, unless, you know, obviously it's very low. Um, it's one of the thickest, stickiest oils um, besides vitamin E oil. Um, those are very high moisture level oils. Yep. Even higher than coconut oil or olive oil. You're right. Um, so, okay. So the last product here that I love is my No Frizz 10 Herbal Moisture Mist. I have been using this so often on my face as toner to refresh my scalp, to perk up my curls for a refresh, and I just love it. It's light, it smells really good, and I just want to make sure you guys knew it. <laughs> so anyway, I sure hope you guys will continue to comment, come and watch, tell me what products you love and hate, and really share this video with your friends. Um, I'm gonna have it posted on my YouTube channel within the next week or two. So when you guys start to get bored of it or forget, then it'll come right back and you can get a refresher. And uh, like I say, if you haven't seen my videos lately on my YouTube channel, please make sure you go there and check those out. And as always, if you ever have any questions for me, just ask. See you guys later. Bye.